everyone, Victoria Tabak here, and welcome back to my monthly video column, Formula Wiz. This month we will be discussing phytoenzymes. They are plant protein molecules that act as catalysts through their catabolic function. So what that means is that they break up the proteins or the cellular glue that holds the cells together on the surface of the skin. The outermost layer of the epidermis, the stratum corneum, also known as the horny layer of the skin, is made up of corneocytes and it makes up approximately 15 to 20 layers of the stratum corneum. Those layers are made up of keratinocytes, which are keratin proteins, and they are essentially the cellular glue which holds the cells together. In useful skin, the cells typically turn over approximately every two to three weeks. But as skin matures, the cellular regeneration process slows down. So what begins to happen is that those dead skin cells begin to accumulate on the surface of the skin. And as they flatten, skin begins to look more dull and lifeless. It changes the skin texture, and that is also where the surface pigmentation develops. The primary use of enzymes in skincare products and treatments is for its exfoliating benefits. And enzymes offer a gentler, more versatile option versus abrasive scrubs or microdermabrasion or the more aggressive chemical peel option for exfoliating the skin. Enzymes as catalytic proteins speed up and accelerate chemical reactions on the skin. So in that way, they actually break up the protein chains. Once the enzymes break up the protein chains, it then begins to digest those dead skin cells. So in that way, it's able to exfoliate the skin gently and at the same time, enzymes typically are also very high in antioxidants. It offers additional benefits to combat free radicals. In addition, the enzymes also can be very high in vitamins, such as vitamin C, which is known to boost collagen production as well. The most common sources of plant-derived enzymes in skincare products include papain from papaya, bromelain from pineapple, pumpkin, also naturally high in other fruit acids as well, which offer an additional brightening benefit. Actinidin, which is derived from bananas, mango, kiwi, as well as pineapple. And bananas also are high in amylase and maltase, which are actually known to break up carbohydrates, but they also ultimately degrade proteins. On a final note, enzymes are great for all skin types, even the most sensitive kind. They visibly are able to smooth skin texture, they improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and they're able to brighten the complexion by ridding the surface of the skin from those excess cells that are just sitting there but aren't able to regenerate as quickly as they were able to when skin was younger. Stay tuned next month when I will be discussing phytohormones.